Our top story tonight, M&T Bank could soon be hanging out the help wanted sign here in western New York. The bank is expanding to bring in more employees to its number of different locations here in downtown Buffalo. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Justin Moore is working on the story for us tonight. You know, we've had this long track record of, of growth. Keith Belanger, a senior vice president at M&T Bank, says business has been booming for the Buffalo-based bank. Over the last four years, the bank has hired at least 1,900 Western New Yorkers in its non-branch facilities. A lot of the growth we've seen has been employees that have been hired into the technology area or contractors that we brought on to support individual technology projects. The steady growth is allowing M&T to invest $100 million in expanding the density of the floors in the downtown Buffalo M&T Center. And right now we're renovating four floors, adding several hundred seats of capacity. Um, part of our multi-year effort to um, accommodate the growth of the bank. The expansion is not real obvious from the outside, but crews are hard at work making room for potential new employees. The growth even creating an issue several downtown businesses are dealing with, parking. Um, it's one of those good problems to have for the community. Key investments like uh, like uh, m and is, is very important to sticking the flag in the ground, in this case the green flag, and uh, and saying, hey, we're here for the long haul and, and uh, we want to be part of this. Thomas Kucharski with Invest Buffalo Niagara says businesses are realizing downtown Buffalo has a hidden treasure of opportunities. They join the list of uh, IBM and um, uh, key and a number of other uh, downtown tenants who are expanding their, their capabilities. M&T officials say part of their growth is because of the first Niagara Key Bank merger. A lot of customers simply want a bank that is based here in western New York. Justin Moore, 7 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Justin.